Mouse Nota. Mouse Nota. I, I don't even want to say it. Since it's a mouse, it's we Nota. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> Commander Home is sponsored by TCG Player, your trusted source for all trading card games in the United States. Whether you're looking for the hottest new cards or building a collection from throughout Magic's history, there's nowhere better to find exactly what you want. Everyone knows that game stores and communities all over the world use TCG Player's market price data, so you never have to worry about if you're getting a good deal, whether you're buying, selling, or trading cards. Whether you live in the heart of a big city or in the middle of nowhere, TCG Player gives you access to singles and sealed product at hobby shops across the US from the comfort of your own home. Just browse, place your order, and watch the cards show up at your door. And if you'd rather get everything in one fell swoop, TCG Player's Direct program lets you get all the cards you want in a single envelope, authenticated and conditioned by their specialists. And with their buyer safeguard protection, you're guaranteed to get what you ordered in the right condition or your money back. So if you want to support Commander at Home while putting together Commander decks to play at your own home, head on down to the link in the description. Commander at Home is thrilled to be sponsored by Gamegenic, your new favorite gaming accessory company. We actually worked with Gamegenic already on the playmats you see us using on the show, and we're thrilled with the possibilities of making all kinds of cool new Commander at Home merch with them in the future. We love their stuff. They've done some amazing partnerships, like obviously us, and Tolarian Community College's academic deck box that you can find at your LGS. And uh, yeah, if you have a ton of Commander decks like us, uh, the Card Layer Pro right here is fantastic for protecting them, organizing them, making sure you don't just lose them somewhere in your house. Absolutely. So again, thanks to Gamegenic, and we hope you enjoy the show. and welcome to a very special episode of Commander at Home. You might see we are in a very different <laughs> positions here because we are doing a special episode sponsored by Wizards of the Coast, which is Bloomborough versus Duskmorn. Yes, we have the cute fuzzy critters versus the horrible scary monsters on this particular episode. And we're gonna be playing Two-Headed Giant. And uh, Olivia is uh, getting her, her greatest wish to not be sitting next to me <laughs> In a game of Commander, she always always is very upset that she has to constantly take turns after me. But now we're going to be doing battle because we are on opposite teams. It's true. Another cool reason for that is we participated in uh, the GCX fundraiser online for St. Jude's. And I had thrown out to our audience that if we made it to $15,000 in our block, that I would finally get to sit somewhere else. And we did. So here, here I am. Yes. Great. So we're very excited for that Sweet. as well. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much to Wizards of the Coast, of course, for sponsoring this episode and letting us play with the, in this case, Duskmorn decks early. Find yourself a local store. You can pick it up yourself at the link in the description. You can also check out our Patreon. And while you're at that LGS, you can check out our amazing sponsor, Gamegenic, and all the amazing products they have. They have sleeves, playmats, cool deck boxes, like the Squire Plus 100 Plus XL Convertible. It's a lot of words Ooh. for a very cool deck box. So by all means, check it out as you're watching this illustrious B-roll of me shuffling and using it. <laughs> so <laughs> big thanks to them, big thanks to our sponsors, check out the Patreon. You don't have to give money. You can do the usual uh, engaging the algorithm in all the ways that are so annoying when a YouTuber says it every time. So uh, let's move to the introductions of the people we have here with us today. Spencer Crittenden. Uh, I'm just a nobody at this point. I play games with these guys. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Young. You may have heard me sing on the internet. Uh, <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> you may have heard me sing on the internet, but I hope <laughs> Before we get into our battle here, you must know this is not the first time our heroes and villains have met. In fact, we played another game before this, and it was an absolute slaughter. It was horrible. It was, it was really, so bad. Really bad. We needed to play another game after the heroes, of course, had a chance for a training montage. <laughs> we'll give you a few snippets of what actually happened in that game, but we don't want to subject you to the entire thing. We shall begin. <laughs> There's more villain tropes than there are protagonist tropes. Yeah, this is not fair. not fair. I can't be plucky. That's not my shtick. 
the Lord of Pain. I'm glad we decided on 80 life because we're tagging you for 11 right now. Yeah. Am I the only one here without a soul ring? Yeah, you are. Yep. You're I'm a pretty bad villain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. I'm the Lord of Pain. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Kadama of East Tree. Boom! Take some damage. Six buddy. damage. Well, this isn't looking good for us. I feel bad that the Lord of Pain is. You don't. Don't lie. No, I, I, I do. I actually <laughs> feel very bad out of character. Out of character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This could be the villain that we can actually defeat. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, not awesome. We're getting completely. <laughs> But other than that, this is great. They call it a Greek tragedy. We are impaled upon our hubris, which is uh, thinking this was there a was fun no game with friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we've been punished for it. Yeah, there was, there was no, There's was, been nothing there was not, there was, actually. There was no, I'm hubris. having a great time. It was, uh, as villains do, an absolute slaughter, a was, stomping, a, blood a mauling. Yeah, it was really bad. It was bad. bad. <laughs> that, that just, that's just part of the story, right? The plucky heroes need to pull themselves up. And we had to have try, some hardship. Try again. Yeah, and yeah, also, yeah. we need to try, try again without uh, the Lord of Pain as the commander for this deck, because holy cow, is that disgusting and two-headed giant. It, yeah, it doesn't work how we want it to at all. Uh, it turns out that the creatures of Bloomborough were not ready for the no, Lord of Pain. They were, they were not prepared, but they've had time, you know? We, we've put the Lord of Pain back in his cage. We have we have cutesy little, very demure Valgavoth instead. The funny thing, that, that's the... That's the, 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 the true arch enemy of, you know, of all of uh, Dust One or whatever, but... Uh, Wait, but is that canon? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, the, he's, he's the big... He's the guy who, like, who, like runs the haunted bat. house, the house of horrors. Like, he's the big he's immediately more interesting. And yet, yeah. the Lord of Pain was, was the one who was really running the show before. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, let's introduce the villainous decks first. Want to start with yours? Yes. <laughs> now that you know who he is. Yes, I am playing the villain of Bloomborough, who runs. Not Bloomborough, Dustborn. Uh, Dustborn. <laughs> Velgavoth, who's an elder demon with flying and ward pay to life. Whenever an opponent loses life for the first time during each of their turns, put a 1 1 counter on Velgavoth, how harrower of souls. <laughs> <laughs> and draw a card, and he's a 4-4 four, four with flying. Sick. Cool. Awesome. Gosh, I nailed and, uh, that. As, as the, the, uh, the compatriot villain, I have Rendmaw Creaking Nest. He's a 5-5 five, five with Menace and Reach, uh, and when it or uh, it enters the battlefield or uh, you play a, another card with two or more card types, each player makes a 2-2 two, two bird that is goaded. Uh, conveniently, he can block those when they have to yeah. attack. Sick. And we are playing a two at a giant, so can block for, for the teammates. Yeah. I am playing Bello, Bard of the Brambles. He's a trash raccoon and he turns stuff into big creatures that can't be killed, right? Indestructible. On your turn. Yeah, just and during my just turn. turn back to enchantments, yeah. so then they're still not creature killable. But they draw me cards. They do. Yeah. I am playing Zinnia Valley's Voice, uh, Bird Bard. Uh, it's a flyer plus X plus zero. Bird, X bird, is the bird, number bird. of creatures I control. It's actually, base power one. It's actually team bard versus team villain. Somehow you're not on Whoa. team bard. Whoa. Wow. Let's go we on. have the power of music on our side. Got an anime too? <laughs> and then creature spells I cast right. have offspring too. We got that one. <laughs> we, we have got an anime. <laughs> yeah, you do. Anyway, let's press on, shall all we? Right, let's roll. Look at all these angry bird tokens I got from the last <laughs> <Yeah>. game. <laughs> Could charitably do this. I rolled the same thing that I did. did. You did. <laughs> this is like the deja vu segment in the horror movie. Uh, we're like, yeah. didn't this happen before? This is a bad sign. <laughs> it's a flashback. That almost happened. Really. Okay. 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 <laughs> well, the villains shall kick things off, much like they did when our heroes last met them. Oh boy. <laughs> But this time I don't have a turn on Soul Ring. I'm just gonna play <laughs> Temple of Malady. I'm not prepared for this. I like that. <laughs> It'll bottom this. I just, I just drew the Lord of Pain. <laughs> In another In world, moment. I drew the Lord of Pain as my first draw, but that is not this world. <laughs> this world, I drew something very different. We will not speak of the other world. <laughs> I'm gonna play a uh, uh, Tainted Peak and pass. Sweet. I will Temple of Triumph and Scry. I will peek at a <laughs> <laughs> No. We'll be right Just back. a peek. <laughs> Just yeah. a peek. Fair. Just a peek. <laughs> yep. Cool, great, awesome, I love it. I'm done. <laughs> Off to a great start. Draw. Did you draw? No, I didn't. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm gonna play Swamp and a Rampant Growth. Oh no. I'm going to play a mountain. 
And a Rakdo Signet. Sick. That's all I got. Cool, awesome, great. And your turn. I like this. Draw. Got any fun stuff? Uh, no, because I'm gonna play uh, Land that enters tapped. It's Path of Ancestry. <laughs> I'm gonna play Rebound Crag into Gruel Signet. Whoa! And this rock is gonna run. A roll. <laughs> Take two. This rock is gonna roll. <laughs> You're doing great. Hey! You stick two. Oh. There's still gonna be plenty of banter in this game. Got anything interesting? Yeah. Fun. I'm going to give my opponents spiteful visions of that last game we played. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna play Tainted Wood. Uh, and then I'm gonna play Ursine Monstrosity. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. 3-3 three, three, Trample for 3. Beginning of combat on your turn, mill a card and choose a one at random. Tax that player this combat if able until end of turn is indestructible and gets plus one for each card type among cards in your graveyard. Lord. But I can't attack this turn because it doesn't have haste, so I'll, right. I'll just mill. I'll play. It's a calling ritual. Okay, good? <laughs> yep. Okay, so we're going to draw 2 and take 4. Right, yeah. it's double burn and draw. Same with you guys. Ow. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> We're just, we're just I don't know leading, why that leading, got me. Leading into the anime theme. You know? Yeah. <laughs> All talisman impulse, and then with these guys, I can uh, play my commander, yeah. which is going to make these guys into four, no, it's, four. It's, it's only ones that cost four or more. Only four or more. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was going to go off with treasure tokens. Okay. This is good to know. <laughs> Nailed it. I will just play uh, hanged executioner. I will make a 1-1 one, one sprit with flying, and I can pay for it to exile to exile target creature. Spooky. Okay, pass turn. Unless. All right, let's okay. untap. Sorry. Two, lose Particular four. Pupper. Oh, wow. Yeah. Make, make sure right. the game does not go on for a long time. <laughs> Should I do the thing that we talked about? <laughs> that's pretty sick. I don't really have anything else that's... Okay, I'm into it. Okay. Uh, well, no, because it has, to, it has to attack, right? Well, yeah, so we'd have to do but combat then, but then, first. Right, but, but they can block it. They would die. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that would that would work very well. Well, wait, first strike. Oh, it has first strike. Yeah. Oh, they'd have to throw everything in front of it to reliably kill it, and then we'd get the commander. Let's yeah, not do true. that. Whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, we could try it. Seems silly, honestly. So yeah. it's a four mana removal spell for the commander if if they if go they ahead. Block. Go okay. Ahead. Go ahead. Okay. No, I mean, I have tricks that will make it work okay. out better. Well, I mean, they're gonna. I played it, and now they're gonna know what it is. <laughs> so if it's tapped, everybody gets double mana. Okay. And it has whoa. haste and first strike. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's awesome. So I am gonna attempt to move to combat. So Ursa Monsashi, you trigger. Yeah. Mill this and uh, randomly attack the opponent. You're the same opponent, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, right, right, yeah. yeah. So this is a 5-5 five, five trample, indestructible. Okay. And I'll come at you with first strike with a 3-2. And if you don't kill it, everybody's mana gets doubled for the next turn cycle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sort of everyone's mana, because he has two, he has two art, oh, artifacts. Oh, I oh dang, I tapped my oh, mana yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah. No! Okay. <laughs> Should we just take eight? I think, yeah, right? It just, I don't like taking damage, but it feels like the right move. Okay. We'll just take yeah. the eight. Sorry. All right. I will play this Woodland Cemetery. And I'm going to tap for 10, and I take five, right? Kind oof. Of, yep. So oof. we take five. Big oof. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to play Skola Grove Dancer, though. Okay. So whenever land is put your graveyard from anywhere, you gain a life. Huh? I'm then gonna play Dead Bridge Chant and Mill Ten. Yep. Yeah, I love that card. It's wild. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six lands gain six life. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna cast Grizzly Salvage with my remaining mana, and uh, I'll put this Vile Mutilator in my hand mm -hmm. and gain another life because Tree of Tales goes to the graveyard, and I'm done. Okay. Glory moment. Yeah. I have so many cards in my graveyard already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fact that, like, in, into it, a giant, like, I can just immediately take advantage of that mana is, yeah. is kind of Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Normally, normal. like, yeah. you don't really take advantage of it. Draw two? Yeah, draw oh, two. Oh, right. yes. Two and and take four? Four. <laughs> Even without the Lord of Pain, this is, these are painful games. Yeah. This is well, kind of what this deck I mean, does. This is more, yeah. this is more like, yeah. uh, there's more parity here. Yeah. Because we're all getting hurt and we're all drawing cards, yeah. so. I kind of want to wait for you to go off before I do stuff, but whatever okay. you want. <laughs> they obviously have things. Um, that doesn't actually really work. Just, well, I know, but just think about yeah. when when we would mm -hmm. want to just mm -hmm. keep that in the back of your mind that we can pull that trigger. Yes. 
kingdom for a little bit of rampy. Yeah, I'll just. I'll, I'll... Well, you have ramp. You have eight mana now. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. All your all your lands tap for two and do one damage to you. I am that does change God. the calculus a bit. <laughs> I'm going to tap a forest for two mana and I get to take one damage, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'm going to play the Gruel Turf to bounce this back to my hand. And so I have two floating. Tap for two more for a four to get a Thran Dynamo. Yeah. Love that. I guess he's a creature right now. Yep. But he's got summoning sickness. No, it doesn't. It no, it doesn't. It oh! I don't want to attack anyway. Uh, <laughs> do, oh, do you want to do stuff? I am going to do stuff. I'm going to start by paying Jeskai. Commandy. Yeah. For commander. Um, so this friend gets plus X plus zero. X is the number of other creatures with base power one. Creature spells I cast have offspring two. Why? So you have Jeskai floating. Yes. Interesting. Mm, yes. <laughs> I will pay take five. Four. Take one more. Casting with offspring two and play Aether Channeler. <laughs> okay. So I will Ooh. make two bird creature tokens, and this will also have a copy of itself. I am going to abrade your guy. My guy? Yeah, and yeah. I have two floating as a result, and I take two uh, damage. Yeah. This, this yes. guy? Okay. Yes, yeah. guy. I wasn't sure if you were referring to my spiteful vision. No, sorry. Guy. <laughs> and I do have two floating. I'll spend three, uh, and then I will play the tender <laughs> shoot. They, they're, I'd say they're both guys. I think that's a very fair. Yeah, they're guys. Yeah. I don't think I have a send yet, but I'll get Sapperlings every upkeep. That's all I got. Actually, you're pretty close to having having. I like my board right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Well. So right. we we Untap. draw two, lose four. Yes. Uh, well, I have Debra's Champ, so Ooh. random card in my graveyard. Oh right. Pick a card, any card. Oh. Wild Nacatl. Correct. Oh, what is it? Itself. it uh, ah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I've demonstrated uh. the loop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will draw a card. Two. My and you get a, a sapling. Heavy bird. Yeah. What is it? Like seven, seven three. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for the reminder, by the way. Yeah. I have seven card types in my graveyard right now. <laughs> so Ursa Monstrosity is a monstrosity. Do we want to try and use this to deal with some stuff? I guess we like make that attack, make that attack is like pretty powerful. I mean, this too, we do not want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do we have a flying blocker? Like yours? No, I, I do not. That's, That's awesome. We probably want more blockers no, before, you know. Nice. So I can actually get that into play for you. I can make them lose life even without attacking. I can do this into this, and that's a really good setup turn, right? Uh, yeah, oh, for sure. So I am going to play an enchantment room. Oh. The Polluted Cistern. So I need a door. Is Room a new card type? Like yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, an enchantment, so, but it's a, yeah. it's a subtype. So rooms, enchantment. you can cast either half of the room card, and the other door is locked. And then you can pay the cost of that to unlock that. This is a locked door. Yes. Oh, uh, okay, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I, I now have the effect, when one or more cards are put into your graveyard from your library, each opponent loses one life for each card type among those cards. But room does not count towards delirium. Uh, no. No, that's it's, not. It's, it's a, a subtype sub of enchantment. Okay, cool. So yep, to yep. demonstrate, oh god, I am going to cast the Grizzly Salvage that I got back yeah, from yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to take <laughs> this command to randomly select that command card tower. without seeing it. How dare you? Uh, and we, so we are going to put a forest creature, a kindred sorcery, a planeswalker, and a land. So a, a kindred sorcery. Those are two types. Three types. Four, five types. Awesome. So you each lose one life. You lose 10. So you lose 10 life. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> two mana, 10 burn. Holy crap. We gain two from the, the Grove Dancer. Okay. And then uh, since Brian did that. <laughs> let me make it worse. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Let me punish you further. I'm going to cast Rakdos, Lord of Riots. Flying Trample 6-6, six, six. creatures, spells, creatures, spells that I cast <laughs> cost one less to cast for each one life my opponents have lost, which is 10. And then I'm gonna tap Bing Bing and play a Vile Smasher the Fierce. Yeah. Oh boy. Nice. Whenever I cast my first yeah. spell each turn, choose an opponent at random. It's gonna be you. <laughs> vile Smasher the Fields, Vile Smasher of the Fields <laughs> deals damage. Equal to that spell's mana value to that player it, or a planeswalker. The, the number of like random opponent or each opponent things. That's why I'm saying yeah. really not, makes the two in a giant like bullying. Yeah. Pretty cons are not made for two in a giant. <laughs> Giants weren't made to have two heads. Yeah. But it's, it's I mean, a weird mutation. It's not good. 
Luckily, okay. we're all getting Unless a ton of card Unless they're playing draw, Warcraft so, too. Yeah. <laughs> we, we should all be getting a, a board state though this time, thankfully, because... We'll see about that. I'm gonna go to combat, and I am going to mill with Ursa Monstrosity. You each lose a life, so you lose two life. <laughs> and then Ursa Monstrosity is going to attack, and it gets indestructible and plus one plus one for each card type of my graveyard, uh, which I think is eight. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. It, it's 11-11. It's oh, boy. Trample. Okay. And I don't have any good blocks, really. Well, I could block with Bellow and then recast, but that's, I don't really have a good block otherwise. It's, it's triples anyway. Yeah. That's the trample, thing. yeah. So I guess we just take it. Ugh. Go? <laughs> don't forget to draw four. And on my upkeep. Uh, when you unlock this, cheese. When you unlock this, mill three, then return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. I thought you said when you unlock this cheese. I was like, what card <laughs> yeah, did I like, miss? Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Hold on, there's a cheese card? Soul there. ring. Well, I guess I can do that, but then I'm both out of mana and can't play cards. I'm gonna... One, two, three, and four. For a Hedron Archive. Okay. And he's a creature. So now I got two animated Bellow guys. Hey. Yeah. And I also have the City's you have Blessing. The city's blessing. So your Sap Blessing Sap Blessing 2 plus 2. Sweet. Which is nice. I'm gonna tap four and exile Hanged Executioner to exile yep. Rakdos. Thank that you. is fair. Yeah. And then attacks. I will swing in with Thram Dynamo and Hedron Archive, indestructible. And I will swing in with a 7 3 commander. <laughs> Flying. None of the birds are spirit? No, I don't trust anything you guys are doing. Yeah, you're blockers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to block with yeah, Wildsmith. No well, actually, they can't block That's anything. the thing. I just, yeah. I was like, I don't want to, like, we're low on life, but actually, you yeah, are. His, his big thing is a trampler anyway, so you might yeah. be yeah. incentivized to just. Well, I can attack with, uh, if I can steal one dice, I'll yeah. have this one attacking and this okay. one staying back. Yeah, I'll get you guys for 10 in the air then. Okay, okay. so we take uh, 19. And seven of its commanders. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a swing. Ow. Uh, All part of my plan. And death. The hero tickling the, the villain's foot. It's tickling, yeah. <laughs> You know? We have a feather. We're so not we'll use it. it. And it'll comedically win the game somehow. Certainly. Okay. Oh, right. my I, kingdom for a land. <laughs> I will. Ooh. <gasps> Shall we untap? I don't have enough to pay for this. Yeah, I'm just okay. I'm picking what I'm doing. Let's untap. Oh, you're just starting. Okay. It's uh, well, it's not really going to change. We have Dead Bridge Chance. Yeah. Would you like to pick the chance again? No, can you pick this time? Yeah. I don't want to be responsible. <laughs> I was like, for Who's sure. your doom, heroes? You milled six lands. You know. What shall be? Okay. A land. Yeah. Okay, so that goes to my hand. <gasps> I'm so glad you picked that. <laughs> oh. Then draw two, take four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you cast that? This is thematic. Uh, Think about it. Like, Indeed. Uh, this guy looks fucked up, though. I'm just going wreck just I mean, oh, as having, that. Having I like, that. Yep. Yep. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I like losing. I'm finding. <laughs> I don't like finding this out about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if we can do something, I don't want to um, lose and have done nothing. Yeah. I want to lose and have done something. Do you have a way to, to trigger I have damage. no problem with losing. Okay. Yes, okay. I can activate this. This is how we're going to start. I am going to open the second door mm -hmm. into the dim oubliette. So when you unlock this door, mill three cards, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. So one, Oh, any creature card. Oh, heck. Two. Yeah. Three. Trigger from this, they're two different land types, so you each lose two, which means you lose four. We <laughs> gain two because two lands into the graveyard. And then I am going to put Hornet Queen into play. Ooh. There was a Hornet Queen in the Oubliette? <laughs> Apparently. Yes, apparently so. It was imprisoned for crimes against humanity. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Ah, bees! <laughs> <laughs> Oprah Giff, <like. laughs> Who put this in prison? <laughs> <laughs> oh, check out episode six, season three of Harmon Quest for a bee-related joke. <laughs> okay. Oh, someone's gonna enjoy that. I don't know who. Uh, okay. Are we and dead this turn? Oh, no. I. No. I'm sorry. I, I should have drawn two cards. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I draw two cards. Do, do you have anything to do with them? With the... No, I don't have any. Okay, anything. so. Is it better me to see if there's another line and only do one damage with Battle Smasher? Right? Well, you do, you do three. Oh, that one's actually yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, you, no, you pay to play it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fun. I'll just start with that. It's the, he gets I'm going to play Light so Up the Stage. That's yeah, the yeah, that's only right. problem. Uh -huh. uh, light Up the Stage for the spectacle cost. Uh, exile two until end of next turn. I can play those cards. I know. What a bummer. 
So I exile Theater of Horrors and Persistent Constrictor, and I can play both of them until the end of my next turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be the best stripes. token. They don't have stripes, babe. <laughs> That's got to be that's the a very best good token one. art. I, may, I think that's the best art you've ever drawn. Oh my god. <laughs> I really like it. And I love how you wrote, BEES! <laughs> Give me that. You sleeping it? Yeah! <laughs> Can you imagine? Listen, with like, oh, tokens, if you sleep it for a couple days, they'll stay like forever. <laughs> with yeah. infinite tokens, if you sleep it, it'll stay forever. It's true. Wow. This is like this is like mom putting your art up in the fridge yep. as a kid. It's yeah, I did a good job. <laughs> you mean the best validation I've ever received in my entire life? Don't rub it around too much. <laughs> okay, that's the best thing I've ever seen you illustrate. I, I really like Land. it. And Just the right amount of. Unhinged. I think this Those is. Yeah, the Google. Yeah. It's the Sesame Street um, Muppet eyes. And the mouth. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Muppet mouth. Yeah. I'm gonna play a Falcon Wrath and Noble. Oh, no. Mm. Okay. <laughs> that was fortunately target player. It's yeah. not a double dipper. Right, okay, yeah. okay. And that is all that I've got. That's, and did did you guys lose up. three life because I cast my first spell with no. Miles Mendes? Okay. Do we each lose it? Is it is it? It's one player random. One so player random. Yeah. An opponent at random. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not being your opponent. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's okay, good girl. I'm really not contributing anything to combat. You're fine, baby. It's mostly girl. you. It's okay. Uh, well, it's Brian's favorite thing to do. Speaking of combat, <laughs> no. We gain a life, you lose two. Uh, and this 11 11 triple's attacking again. My inclination is to double block with Bello, but I don't know. I, I can replay him, but I might. It's probably. No, it's better to. I, I'll just single block, I think, right? Just block three of it. There's not really Absorb any. some damage. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, like, okay. So I will block with one Saperling. You might want to keep the Saperlings because. You're still netting a life loss. It's just well, no, these, these, these are three threes. Because... They're three threes because. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'll block three. And... Oh, never mind. I, th I thought you were talking about one ones. I yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, I yeah. yeah. This should be good, right? So we'll absorb three of it. Take eight. And then lose, lose three, and we gain three. From do the do the three threes. It's die? one. It's, it's one, one three three. One. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting it backwards every time that you. Explain. No worries. <laughs> yeah, my guy was okay. three. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's okay. that's about as best as we can do. I think so too. Anything else? Uh, I think that's that's it for us. Yep. Woof. Yep. It's Tell not looking end. good for our heroes. It's really not looking good for our heroes. Unless these are your heroes and then you're a jackass. Um, <laughs> this is the thing about the power of friendship. Yep. It's kind of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter when people are just bullying you. <laughs> Friendship also needs a big stick to go yeah. along with it to really get the job done. All right. Untap. Untap. Uh, um, upkeep. Draw two and lose four, right? Yep. Yeah, right. Oh. I will island here. I am just going to tap three and five, so one floating for greater good. Ooh. Because I want to I wanna sacrifice for the greater good. Yeah. Very noble. Okay, I'm just going to start noble. digging. I yeah, sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. I draw. Uh, so yeah, worth noting. Oh my god, <laughs> well, that's our only shot, though, right? I mean, yeah. That's all yeah. We can do. yeah, you got to dig. Because I think we're basically we're dead, dead anyway. Next turn. So yeah, I'll just if, do three, dig three at a time. Yeah, if I have a CMC higher than your life total, you uh, have an it. You, you have a yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, that's the thing. Is it's very hard to survive. Which yeah. so, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot that needs to go. Draw yeah. three. You're kind of looking for. That's not helping, huh? I mean, that's something. Um, not enough. Yeah, no, that doesn't. So I got to discard three. Well, that discard. can. That's yeah. a creature in enchantment and an artifact. That's actually not bad. I got to discard Is three. Is it decimate? Uh, that yeah, that's. That's, that's actually close. really good. Discarding those, and uh, should I just keep digging? I don't. Well, we can't really dig just yet. Yep. I think. Playing that yes. okay. is kind of and then the only way that we up. even have the option. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, I have a floating, so four is going to get us decimate. Mm -hmm. And what should we kill? <laughs> Got one. Yeah, well, we'll either uh, like these are, are are both pretty disgusting yeah. creatures. You probably given, have given to deal the game with state. both of these in your turn cycle. We, yeah. Well, those are two good starts mm -hmm. in a land. Because like even if you don't assume that the Rakdos deck has a way to kill a bunch of stuff and trigger the Falcon Wrath Noble, there would still be deaths happening on combat mm -hmm. blocks. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're gonna die anyway. Yeah. So, so spiteful vision, spile smasher, uh, your command tower, and is there an artifact we can hit? I have a Rakdos signal. That'll yeah, that's it. probably the best that, we can hope for, right? That, so uh, you'll that, lose one. That is actually very good. <laughs> okay. And, and we'll gain one. Uh, 
But this is rough. This is rough. Yeah. But now you can keep digging without yeah. uh, oh, taking damage. Yeah. That's gone. What? I couldn't do this without your guys' help. <laughs> <laughs> the the we, villain revealing their we weakness. Are, <laughs> we are generous. generous this, is, this, is, this is the villainous monologue. It's like, yes, yes, now you draw all yeah. your cards. Yeah. It is safe. Do it. <laughs> yeah. See if you can find an answer. So you're sacrificing it. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, burn one more sapperling for the greater good. That would be quite poetic. We're losing if it. If greater good got you a yeah. Wait, out. you sacrificed another one? Yeah, I tried. Okay. But I mean, I think we're done. I don't think any. I don't think we can really go farther with the strategy, right? So. Oh, we're screwed. Okay. Well, okay. Hang. Do you? You can. Can you still do this? Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about it. Just not yet. Okay. All right. I'm gonna tap five. We do have to discard. We're not yeah. there yet. No, I gotta discard three. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. From from. Yeah. Got it. Got the greater it. good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The effect of the card. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I was like, we haven't even attacked. What are you talking about? Also, can I re-tap real quick? Sure. Just if if you can somehow into that. get through all of our flyers and make that. Four, 14 power. That's yeah. what we're hoping. Yeah. Step we one, can. Yeah. Step one is is not getting drained. Step no, two step is one not. is step one is the bees and the right. vampire mm -hmm. is the issue. Right. I'm going to tap five and play Arthur Marigold Knight. Haste, it's a four five. Whenever it and one other creature attack like the top six of my library, I can put a creature card from among them on the battlefield, tapped and attacking the rest on the bottom of my library in random order, and that creature goes back to my hand at the end of combat. Mouse Nota. Mouse Nota. Do we die on our feet or and underneath? Uh, I, I don't even want to say it. Since it's a mouse, it's we Nota. <laughs> <laughs> You know See what? you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah, thanks, know. thanks. So I'm gonna tap for five. I gotta take a damage. Yep. And I play Thickest in the Thicket. Uh, uh, it yeah. puts X plus one plus one counters where X is that creature's power. <laughs> um, and that's the big thing I can do. Yep. This is our last ditch effort. How, how big is she? 14, it would kill you. It would. She doesn't have, so have trample and we have a bunch Correct. of blockers. <laughs> Correct. You didn't have any blockers. When you played Hornet, that was yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. Oof. Oh, you, yeah, you guys like had us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We did. Well, damn. <laughs> Isn't that cool, though? <laughs> so if, if you somehow hit a creature that, like... Knocks out I know, all the yeah. ones, that somehow I don't think that, that's printed, but Pyroclasm we'll on a stick. I mean, right? well, it's yeah. a good thing I didn't do this. What? Oh no! If if I had chosen a different line, you guys would have. Well, no. Now well, that would have been, been the villain. All, all, all of the small things that are buffing it would have been dead. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. then it would have been smaller, and it wouldn't have got. Yeah. Forget I ever said anything <laughs> about Magic right, Gathering. So I will <laughs> look Magic at the top Gathering. Six. All right, nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like an ETB. Jesus, that's it. Yeah. Uh, like do you want a full, full swing too? It doesn't feel that full of a send. That's okay. <laughs> but yeah, let's go to combat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna declare everybody two two three 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 four four and four four. Okay. okay. And then the attack trigger here. I'll bring out Angel of the Ruins, a five seven in the air. Well, if we can make five creatures die, we're. I mean, if we can just not it, die. Yeah. So that's, that's the only thing. You, you don't have if to you do just anything. Take all the you can take damage, literally all of this and we're dead. Except for this. We oh. can't take that. Hell yeah. <laughs> right. What if I distract you and knock the bees off of the battlefield? <laughs> what if I. That's what the heroes would unleash do. Unleash so a lot stupid. of bees in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So absolutely, completely unreasonable thing is going to happen mm -hmm. that yeah. allows us to win. Some sort of deus ex machina. Yeah. Like, yeah. like all one ones that aren't mine are dead. Hey, look over <laughs> there. What is that you then die to that? Oh. Right. <laughs> that, that's why I said this was step one. Was, yeah, yeah, was yeah. kidding. <laughs> block there. You don't have to we'll block, block anything <laughs> but this. I know. You can't not well, play optimally. <laughs> I'm not blocking with any of my stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's sporting. Good for you. That's very yeah. Sporting. Uh, and then, and then these, that was a really good high five. It was, yeah. <laughs> you can hear it. It, is, it awesome. is in fact exactly enough blockers to die that Falcon Wrath Noble triggers kill you. Yeah. So. That's so cool! <laughs> I love magic! Bees! I love when the heroes die, right? When they think they're gonna pull it out! Well, we didn't think they were gonna pull it out, we saw him play well, Hornet. I think yeah. all I these games when the heroes ended. desperately try to find a last ditch effort and they fail! No, we didn't do that either. We knew it was, we knew it was a bad idea. Oh, I wow. think that's a great way to end a game. It's on par with like stealing a bunch of nine lives or whatever, you know? Like, it is like a cool way to finish out a game, you have to admit. Well, yeah, it, it, it turns out that the villains are pretty strong. <laughs> it turns out the two-headed giant should never be played well, with precons. Two, two, really clearly.
clearly. Two Headed Giant is definitely a format that that you know that these are not designed for. No. And stuff like you know the the doubling up of the triggers from the room. <laughs> yeah. It's well, like, no, oh, I, I, I mill, I mill five. You take ten. That, here's the thing. Oh, God. You allied yourself with a deck that says each player, which doesn't affect you, and yeah. hits us twice. Uh, yes. That, yes. Yeah, that yes. one. That one is is pretty yes. brutal when it's yes. when it's things that yeah. There's lots of things. I mean, the spiteful vision was hitting us too. It was. It was. We never even played the, the evil commander. I really do think it's very funny that we lost t t attacking you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, ah, oh, we should have our last digit. Oh, it didn't work with that. That's like, the, it's it like some Sparta shit. the last ditch shit. effort. We knew it was over. But that's why it's your last ditch effort. No, it was not a last ditch effort. Like I said, dying you on my feet. It had nothing to do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. If but we cast last honor. ditch effort, we would have died from the Falcon Rats. Right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. At least we still have bees. <laughs> That's gotta go up on the wall, I think. Yeah. It's going in the token box. Yeah. Well, I think that was a fun game, even if it was kind of a you know a bit of a beatdown. We got to have some good times. I thought so many of those cards you were playing were really exciting. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. definitely definitely a lot of very cool stuff these decks are doing, but oh, yeah. they, they're certainly not made for two headed giant. That's yeah. for sure. The moral of the story is that uh, well, Commander being four player free for all is self balancing. That's part, yes. that's part of what makes it work. Game design. Uh huh. Thanks to <laughs> Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this episode and allowing us to, I guess, be bullies to all the small creatures of Blueboro. Yeah. I still love. I love Bloomboro more than I love Duskmorn. So even why'd you play Duskmorn? Because you wanted to play Bloomboro. So what? <laughs> Let's do another game. Shut <laughs> <laughs> <Shovel up. That's laughs> up. But <laughs> let us know which you prefer, Bloomboro or Duskmorn, in the comments, and uh, check out that link in the description to find where you can pick up your own decks to uh, bully your opponents with. <laughs> And uh, thanks to the both of you for, for joining us. Any, uh, any parting words before we go? Don't play magic with Brian Kibler. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're on his team. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you want to hear me sing some heavy metal music, just search Jonathan Young on the internet uh, or on music apps. And if you want to hear Dungeon Playlist, my role-playing background music that I made with my sister, uh, just search for Dungeon Playlist. I play that in like, the intro of all of my streams. Yeah. yeah. It, it yeah. works. It's stream yeah. safe, too. Right. Yeah. Yep. I, I hope the editor does not cut to that camera when I put it. <laughs> she will. Yeah, yeah. She well, but it'd be funny if if I just was looking at the wrong. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bit funny. <laughs> that, that, that's our, that, that is our camera. That yeah. is our camera. No, I know, but hey. do you know? I agree. I, know. I agree. No. I know. I'm on his I side. Know. I'm on his side. <laughs> Arby's has asked that I not promote any more. <laughs> Um, so, uh, check out Baja Blast, available at Taco Bell, and have yourselves a Baja summer. Check out Harmon Quest on Crunchyroll. Episode 6 of Season 3 had that bee joke that I mentioned, if that didn't get cut out. Thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks once again to all of you for watching. Thanks to our wonderful sponsor, Gamegenic. Or I like, have to make that one in there. <laughs> for supporting the show. They have all kinds of wonderful products, as we mentioned earlier in the show. Uh, they give us all these play mats, oh. sleeves that we use, fantastic high quality accessories to keep your <laughs> cards safe, as we have done today. Thanks for watching. Oh we'll see you all again next time. <laughs>